Beautiful morning at the boat ramp. Too cold to be throwing that thing. Ashley, you might want to move. What is up? Gorgeous day. We're gonna try to find some triple tail. But anyway, we're out here hitting all these channel markers looking for some triple tail. Jamie's trying to find some greenies right now for some bait. Because apparently yesterday they didn't want any shrimp or anything. So, we're going to try to find some nice little pretty fishes. And of course, because we're on the boat, it's cold. It's like 55 or 58 this morning. Ridiculous. So when he's throwing the net in front of the boat like that, I put it in reverse, get it out of the way. He's got his bait, drop put power pole down. That way we're staying right here, not moving anywhere. But if you let the boat drift up in front of, like right on top of the net, you gotta lift it straight up. It doesn't close right and you don't get it. But that's basically what we're trying to catch. Little thread fins, greenies, whatever you want to call them. Great bait for everything, like legit everything. Try to keep your live well clean. You want a mullet? This guy gets to go back. He's happy. But then when you're ready to go again, power pull up. Wait on your net thrower to tell you go. And then you go. We're just sticking pretty close into the shore because they're running this flat right here. So we uh, kind of find out where they're going to be and just get in their zone and do it. And really, you want to. I'm kind of bumping in and out of gear, but I'm getting some speed going and let the wind go. You don't want to shift it too much because that click when it goes into gear will spook your bait away too. And that's no bueno. Birds. Bunch of people camping. 
See, I'm already in reverse right now. And don't throw your guy off the front of the boat. They very much appreciate that. And now we got a bunch more greenies and some other thingies. Fish. I guess Master says that's good. So, we're basically going to go hit all those channel markers and work them, and we'll show you what's up. And this is what happens when you don't know where the channel is. Pulling you that way is a whole different nightmare. Yeah, it's just back with big. Sounds good. Appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> so basically what we're doing is pulling up these pilings right there. And Jamie's sewing out a little weight with a little greenie. 
with a little snipperdoodle to his tail. Throw it down, let it sink. You may even pull up and see him floating around the pole or whatever. They like to hang out around the pole, so. But what have you been doing? Just throwing it out, letting it. Yep, just letting it sit. Letting it sit. Throw it back out, let it sit. You gotta let them. Do this for a few minutes and then it is what it is. Just going up past the piling, let it drift back, do that a few times, move piling, 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 piling. Stop on If he doesn't stop, he's a fucking straight up dude. Why would he stop? Big boat. Those are some big waves. So we just had a massive school of jacks come right by us. And uh, so we tied on a top water. They must be crushing pogies or something. So we're gonna go try to get some of them. Something to bend the rod anyway, since we suck at catching other fish. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 No. No. Oh. We're literally just fishing in all these seeing all these birds, well, you'll probably see it in the video right before this, but we're like, oh, what is that? Come by, and that's what this is. And I'm back up. <laughs> Watch, zoom in on that. Um, way out there. Um, probably not. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't care. Actually, just you keep fishing. I'll drive over there. You underneath that boat? No. Yeah. Close. Uh, 
pretty much right under them. But if we can zip around like the front of them, I should be past them. Go ahead and go faster. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> nah, here you go. What a freaking toad. I don't care how many fish you've ever caught in your life. That rod bends. And that fish takes off. That's the drug. Jeez, look at that freaking thing. Oh, it's a big pompano. <laughs> Good. I'll grab him before that. Jesus Christ. This thing is not having it. Is that them right there? No, it's perfect. So they must be way up there. God, these things are cruising. Come on, you dickwad. Get the harpoon. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to break them. Get your head over. So this fish is literally just wanting to swim with the current with the boat. So you want to angle the rod the opposite way to keep them changing directions try to break them fuck I don't have a gap, I'm sorry. whose idea was this <laughs> Dude, his pulse, this is like a tuna pulse. Big fucking jack. He's getting pretty tired. Hey, that's good for me. Epic. Where are they at? They're still up a bit. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not. Right here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at right here. Huh? Oh, there it is. Do you want to cast it? I mean, you can cast it. That's one. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to do anything for a minute. <laughs> Woo -wee. 
doubled up in mayhem. We'll get Jamie's fish in, then we'll start chasing yours. <laughs> oh yeah. The <laughs> wiggly ride. Not even the wiggly ride. Oh no. No. It looks like it right now. Hopefully he stays out of that crab trap up there. Mine's gone. Is he? Yeah, me. I'll oh, my top one. All right, we're gonna chase yours. How you feeling? Good. Just cranked old pump. Huh? Nah, he's off this way. Should be good. Gee, look at all of them with him. <laughs> He's gonna go under. Uh. So when the fish goes under the boat, put your rod as far down as possible so you don't hit the bottom of the boat. Try to get back on that side of them. Just the glare on this shit. Perfect. Is there two on the top water though? I don't know. What do you mean? You think there's two fish on here? <laughs> out for the sailboat. Huh? Bring him up. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty awesome if there's two fish on this. <laughs> that would make me feel a little bit better about not being able to This is a giant. No, nah, there's just one. He's just giant. Yeah. You want the net or do you want to try grabbing? I'll grab. Yep. Nah. Out the top water and he go. Two big ones, just Man. like that. He was big. Yep. All right, going back to triple tail fishing now. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but. Whew. If you got it, put it in 0.5, not one.
Yeah, I know. God, look at all the other ones. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Ooh, that sound. Be so awesome if these things are good to eat. God, that plug is gone. At least this one's a little smaller and I can kind of move them around. Over there, I need you over here. But no. Shame we don't, it's not crap season. I know. So, like three of them, and you'll never <laughs> need no more bait. Yep. Oh my god. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> chasing this son of a bitch. Where's a gap? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Poon for his ass. Hey, the quicker you come in, the quicker we let you go. Yep. You can go back to killing all your little mullet friends. Yeah. What other you I would hate to be in their way. I think he's about done. Come on now. Whew. He's stuck in the net. Holy crap, Tart. He became one with the net now. Freaking spikes. Those are like razor blades. Ridiculous. Hooks right out. Ow! It's a baby one compared to the other ones. I know. And that grunt right there, that is the jack. Just want to kind of dart him in head first right there that rushes water through their gills gives them a good head start Whew. i'm tired so this is very tedious Casting to a pole, kind of precision casting-ish. Want to get it close, in the wind, lightweight. You got to work each pole for 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, make a few casts. We're throwing shrimp and greenies right now just to try to figure out what they're eating. Haven't caught anything yet. A big school of jacks went by a little bit ago. Other than that, it's pretty slow. But, I don't know, so we're just hopping, went to that pole, that pole, that pole, we're gonna go to that pole, that pole, then move up, go to that pole, then 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 that pole, and then that pole, then that pole. Oh, I missed that pole. There's another pole. That's got two poles. And you're also dealing with boats traffic. 
so you got freaking boat wakes coming by trying to stand on the bow of the boat like i said spot lock is definitely something that's makes it very easy you just run right up anchor and you're good but i gotta brace her so hopefully we'll catch a fish soon by this pole. Jamie hit the side scan, saw a fish sitting there, so hopefully he can connect. Got him. Just like that. How freaking awesome. Good. Good. Yeah. Deploy the trolling motor. Boom. So Jamie came out here last night and lost a big, was this the pole? Lost a real big one on that pole, so. Redemption. This is all gonna be focused just on him. Everything. No pressure though. But you better not lose that fish. Balls. I swear to God, that thing cannot run unless it like twists itself up. It's gotta tangle itself once. Alright. And if this is that big fish, so you gotta have everybody ready to go. Him on the rod. I'll jump right on the wheel. Just in case he does go around that thing. Snacking. Some pineapple. And the greenie goes out. And now it is sinking down to the bottom. There is the big fish lurking right over there, ready to eat him. Nom, nom. Will he eat it? Oh, we got serious face going on. Very for cereal. The peop people are waiting. They want to see fish. Not oh, true. <laughs> He's chilling. No pressure. Twitch, 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 twitch. Around the pole. 
which way. Ooh, chasing this fish around, boy. You uh, turn the trolling motor off? I'm gonna try to spin it so the wind can take us. Another big one. Another big one on the same one. Huh? Did you see him? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Freaking toad. Get ready. Yep. Ashley, you want to hold it? Freaking giants. There he is. You're supposed to take your time and not uh, dip them until you can see them fully, but we're a little excited as you can tell. Don't go under the boat. Line. 30 30 pound leader so it should be good we're kind of in the open we can take our time ish with them still always want to get your fish in as fast as possible less time for them to spit the hook and whatnot this next pass he'll be in the boat hopefully Woo, it's a good one. there he is there he is boom that one's a keeper Yep, I'd say that's a keeper for sure. Jeez. Don't do there with one in there. No, I didn't know there was And that's what a river triple tail looks like right there. All these gills right here, super sharp. Especially those, I don't know if you can get them in the sun. See those razor blades right there. Those are super pokey. It's a straight prehistoric fish. Ninja. So now we kind of switch tactics. Jamie's looking on the side scan, trying to find them around the poles. So, the bait. bait? Bait on there. So, if we see the fish on there, then we know to put the trolling motor in and start fishing it. That's how we caught those other two fish. I lost another one on yep. it. See him back there? 
He's on the other that's side. That's how it was. He's on the other it. side, so he's on the deep side. Uh, that's him right there. We'll see. So we were using J hooks, we're using 30 pound leader to a swivel to a little tiny sliding weight right there. And we're taking these baits, except we were using J hooks, like three out, four out J hooks, but I ran out, so I'm gonna do a circle hook. And just hooking them right through the belly here. That way, fish wants to swim down. We'll have that bait on standby because the way we're fishing here, if that fish hits on the other side of the pole, one of us has got to be on the wheel real quick to get the boat around there or else it breaks off. We've already lost a couple from uh, breaking off. Taking the bait, flicking them up up front, letting it drift back into that. Fish will then in turn hopefully see it, swim over to it, gobble it up. You'll feel it in the rod. Yeah, basically we are just flicking up in front of the pole. Current is running that way. As you can kind of see the little swirl back there. Flick the bait up, let it drift back. Like I said, them fish should be seeing it, swimming out to it, eating it. Get him, Ashley. All right, I'm off spot left. Shit, another one with it. Another one it. swimming with it. That's good. Oh, he's a baby. Don't start that shit. At least is. you got one. Yeah. I mean, still got him, but. Did you see the second one? Yeah. yeah. I didn't see the second one. Jesus Christ. Better hang on. Brace for impact. Big boat coming. Yeah. I'm sorry. You want a picture with him? It's too little. Oh, big one. Nice release. Go back, buddy. Later. Okay. Either way. We still got him. Well, that is pretty much it for today. We got some things to do this afternoon, so I don't know. May see a fair cook part of this video. Clean. Not sure yet. Don't know what's going on. So if not, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share. That would help us out tremendously. But until next time, later. So I decided to go the easy route and gonna try a shake and bake on some fish. Never had it. So we shall see. Directions say moisten meat. So it's moisten. Might get a little squeeze.
The only reason why I'm doing it this way is because we didn't really have a whole lot of Parmesan cheese, which usually we do. So, never hurts to try something new. And I'm sure it'll be fine. So, while I'm doing this, I got the oven preheating to 400. I think we're going to do some broccoli and green beans. Maybe. What? I won't tell you to be healthy. I do like broccoli and green beans. <laughs> Sweet. When I'm in the mood for them. Not every night. No. And taste testers don't like green beans that much. Smoker will eat broccoli though, because he eat weird. But whatever. So I hate the feeling of oil on my hand, so I usually put a glove on to put some oil on these things. I don't know why I don't like it, but I'm cooking them in our little oven doohickey. Just ribbon. Just ribbon. Just enough for now to get the jib in. Just gonna spray that real quick. Try some of these guys in there. of oil as you leave your finger right in the way it drips everywhere. And I usually kind of pull them around a little bit. Just helps all the stuff stick to it and seasoning and whatnot. Alexa, shut up. I so I found this gator hammock stuff. I'm gonna try that on green beans today. I usually put garlic powder on there as well as onion powder, but obviously we are out of garlic as well. And we will find out how this stuff is. Put Parmesan cheese too. And Parmesan cheese too. Let's stick a little bit of that for our broccoli. I actually found this little fancy broccoli cooker doohickey. Don't need to add any water or any stuff like that to it. Just throw your broccoli in there. Throw some Parmesan cheese on it. And salt and pepper. You want to cook? <laughs> I never put salt and pepper on it. I always do. I don't like it. I'm putting salt and pepper on it. Because <laughs> I don't put salt and pepper on it. Weirdos do. And you put the lid. 
it on. And for this thing, all you gotta do is put it in for five minutes in the micro zapper, and it's good to go. So, once I put everything in, what do you usually put the green beans on for? Okay. So, turn this on to 400, bake, how long, 20 minutes? Yeah. Two, 20 minutes, and you'll be good to go. See ya. Preheated to 400, so I just threw those on, and what was left on the plate, I sprinkled it on the top of that. And check you in about 15 minutes. This cat absolutely loves his reverse osmosis. Like, he lives for that thing. Please, just turn it on. Please. Please. He begs for it. You do anything in this kitchen, and he is here waiting to drink. This is his favorite thing in the entire world. Here's the ice machine. He knows this is next. Ridiculous. And he doesn't just drink for like, uh, Lap, 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 done. No, maybe here for five minutes. So that fish has been there for about 20 minutes, so we're gonna pull it out and chug it. And I'll turn this on. And the new things are done. Oh, you got it. My fort, I built them. Boom, 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 boom. Bubble. <sighs> That's what the final product came out to be. Very, very flaky. Took about 20 minutes. They're about an inch thick pieces. Broccoli looks delish. Green beans look delish. But now it's time for the taste testers. Go looking. Which thing? Delish, huh? Missed a piece. Ooh, yeah. Nico doesn't like it. Oh yeah. And we have a must be a special day because this one. You're dummy. You're about stupid. Huh? What do you think, Snort? Oh yeah. Good stuff, huh? There you go, Coon. Getting up for that, huh? Yep. One more bite. Oh. 
Taste tester approved, I'd say. So, we are going to go ahead and eat. We do, so there's this video that's going to be coming out. We filmed on Saturday. I went to the boat show on the day after on Sunday, the Palm Beach International Boat Show, which was freaking awesome. Just reminded me how poor I am because there's some gorgeous boats there. But I know last week, was it the weekend before, didn't make a video or something. There's like two weeks in a row where videos didn't come out. It sucks. I don't hate not being consistent. But we know we got two videos coming out for sure, so everything will get back to be dropping video like every Wednesday or something like that. So I know this weekend there's a, the Meat Mayhem Kingfish Tournament in Fort Pierce. I believe we're fishing that. I don't know if we're going to fish Sunday. And then the following. <laughs> Good, huh? Yeah. But following Wednesday is my birthday, and I'm playing hooky that day. I'm going to go offshore, hopefully murder of the dolphin but we'll see but until this weekend hope you all enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe if you watched all the way to the end thank you very much and i think we are out of here